So identify as he him. Shocker. <laughs> we grew up in a Christian home. Our parents were very involved in the church. We went to private school our entire life. Anything that was trans, LGBT was a very uh, foreign concept to us. I don't, I wouldn't say we knew that we were trans. Like we knew something was up, but we didn't really know the term or the word to describe it. We were particularly like masculine. Like, you know, we were very much into sports. During Halloween, we either dressed up as like an animal or Superman. Or... It was very clear to us that something wasn't like right. Right. And how we told each other we were trans, pretty much it wasn't until we were about 18 years old. He was in the bathroom, I was in the bedroom. Um, I'm just scrolling through Facebook. So I see this post, I see this post, and number one, I'm, I'm completely shocked. I'm confused, I'm also, in a sense, relieved because the post pretty much comes out as saying like, hey, I'm transgender. So at that point, I pretty much told him that I felt the same way. I've been feeling the same way since the beginning, of like you know, our entire childhood, everything. I, I felt the same way. But I was too scared to tell him for pretty much the same exact reason, a, a, a poor reaction of just anger, disgust, um, rejection, you know, completely ruining a, a very close relationship. We came to the part where, okay, so, now we know we're exactly the same. We feel the exact same. We're in the same boat. 
where do we go from here? Our biggest thing was we had not a clue how to begin this, not to mention the biggest situation, which was telling our, the rest of our family, you know, hey, we're transgender, both of us, by the way, not just one, both of us. Our parents were upset about it. You know, they kind of battled with it for a little bit. But um, yeah, it's like the, the stage of grief. Initial shock. Yeah. A shock, sadness, anger. So they did come around. Uh, it's all good now. We have a great relationship with our parents. They have a great relationship with his girlfriend, my wife. So everything's all all good right now. No matter what, you're not going to change and no one's going to change you. So just be informative. And if you know they don't want to open up to it, they don't want to open them. And that's on them. Whatever. Screw that's it. On them. If they want to lose that relationship with you, it's on them. Continue to do what you want to do and what you feel is right for your life because it's not anybody else's. It's your life. Hi, I'm Frank, and this is my weight loss journey. My doctor said my blood pressure was ridiculously high, and he said that I could easily have a seizure, a heart attack, or worse. It was only that high because my weight was out of control. I have two kids that I truly wanted to see grow old and get married, have kids of their own one day. All of that played a major role in everything I had to do to maintain a healthier eating habit. I had a goal that I wanted to reach and by all means I was going to reach that goal. Every day I try and wake up around 5.30 and have plenty of time to work out. The more I went to the gym, the better I felt. So far I've lost 100 pounds. So many people helped me, motivate me through my journey and helped me reach my goal and they're still helping me maintain my goal. I'd like to keep helping people reach their goal and help people realize that there's a better way of living. And I've incorporated that in my store. We all collaborated together with the Blue Zone Project and made a major change in the store. We've learned to put fresh first and that has helped people make better choices. Anybody trying to lose weight, the best thing to do is set small goals. Don't think that you're gonna lose weight overnight. Maintain portion control. No matter where you go, there's always a healthier way to eat. Motivation is always key. If you keep your eye on where you wanna go, you'll get there. I've achieved my weight loss goal. You can do it too. I would say definitely, without a doubt, the most important and the most valuable thing throughout this entire transition was having a twin, having that support. I don't think there's really any way for you to just walk this journey alone. Like you need a support system, you need friends, you need somebody to talk to. I mean, right. it's human nature. Like we, we're social beings, we like to talk. It's always healthy to talk about this stuff. It's always healthy to have friends, support. And it's a really big thing. It's a huge life changing thing. Having that support, it helps you come out and do what you're afraid to do. Because I feel like if we didn't have that support, we'd be, we would have experienced a really dark place where we probably would have felt depressed, we probably would have been potentially suicidal. But because you have someone there who is experiencing that same thing, even sharing the same exact parents, so you know you're you're literally experiencing the same exact reaction, like to the T, like the same thing. I think really helped us, you know, be a crush for each other, be strong for each other, and have enough bravery to pretty much, you know, have each other's back and, and go through this, even though we have so much negativity going on at once. Have the, you know, pretty much metaphorically holding each other's hand to walk through this journey together. I feel like we saved each other from, you know, really feeling like depression or some of the hard stuff that a lot of trans people who don't have this kind of support feel. No matter what you what you do, just try your best to have as much patience as you can because the transition itself is a very, 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 very long process. It's scary, it's confusing. You just gotta take it step by step and have a lot of patience. Not only patience with the transition process, but also patience with your family as well. We give them time to understand because they haven't been feeling like the, the family friends, they haven't been feeling what you know you've been feeling. And to just live your life and do what you feel is best for your life because it is your life. You only got one. So why live it un unhappy? Why live it, you know, for someone else or for someone else's opinions or anything like that? Live it for you. Live your life the way you want.